Hey guys, good morning. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there who have served and protected us for all these years. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys that I'm trying for the first time making blueberry pancakes with this Namaste Foods Gluten-Free Perfect Flour Blend. Um, I've not used this flour blend very much to try to make baked goods, but since I'm trying to be wheat-free, I completely just cut out eating baked goods or any sort of um, things that are made with flour like pancakes and things like that. So now I'm trying to work a little bit of that stuff back into my diet by using this mix. Um, I did make banana bread. It turned out kind of really dense and wet because I substituted um, honey for the sugar. And so obviously that makes it more, um, you know, wet and gooey. So um, there's a recipe on the back of this, and I got this stuff at Costco. It was not very expensive for a big bag. It was about, I don't know, I want to say somewhere between $8 and $11, but I can't remember because it was so long ago that I bought it. Um, this is the recipe that's on the back that I'm trying to make right now. Um, perfect blueberry pancakes. And I only had one egg, so what I did was I made a substitute for egg by mixing one tablespoon of ground flaxseed and three tablespoons of water. Um, and also I don't have any milk and I'm trying to be dairy free, so I have coconut milk in the fridge and that's what I used. So here is my mix and I put frozen blueberries in there as well. And here is my attempt at my pancakes. Um, I have to say, I don't know if this is the gluten-free mix or if, if it's the you know egg substitute I used for the one egg or what, but it's very gooey. And I added, even I added more milk because I thought it was too thick and it just seemed to get gooier. So I don't know if that's uh, something that has to do with the, the flour gluten-free flour or what but it's not quite as liquidy as regular pancakes are I had to kind of take a spoon and push it off of the big spoon and um, I had to then help form the shapes and that's why they're so funny looking but it's taking a long time to cook as well um, and I probably time to flip so Sorry, I'm on the frame. I'm trying to look at this. And it's wanting to break apart. So maybe I should have made smaller pancakes to begin with. But there, it's looking like it was burning a little bit right there. So anyway, guys, that's what they look like. They don't look very appetizing, do they? Um, I can tell you this. They smell pretty good. And... I'm hoping with a little natural maple syrup, 100% pure maple syrup, they're going to taste pretty good. Um, probably not the best thing I should be feeding myself. I should be having a Nutri-Blast green smoothie. Um, but I guess I just wanted a break from that today. Also, I am boiling some water for my dandy blend. And that is a substitute for coffee that I use. Um, here it is. It's instant herbal beverage with dandelion. It's 100% caffeine free, no acidity, no bitterness. And the ingredients are, sorry guys, I should have, oh, sorry. Let me set that down so I can use two hands. And the ingredients are extracts of roasted barley, rye, chicory root, dandelion root, and sugar beet, no GMOs, and seven calories per one teaspoon, and 
and it just dissolves. It's brown powdery, a substance that looks like this. I have it in a jar on my countertop. And I just mix in about a tablespoon and a half to make it like a thicker, uh, sorry, this is not wanting to focus, uh, a thicker kind of a coffee beverage. If you use less, it makes it more of a tea consistency. And I like it a little bolder, so it's like coffee. And this is what I use to help me kick my coffee habit. Um, and it really, really helped because I tried giving up coffee once in the past and I had headaches for about four days and um, just not a good feeling at all. So this, I had a headache for the first day and, um, sorry, I should be showing you the front. Um, a headache for, for day one and just kind of an overall down feeling, blah feeling, you know. Um, day two was much better, day three, all gone. So this really helps and you can buy this online or at um, vitamin shops usually or health food stores but if you go to their website it's dandyblend.com I believe and it tells you um, a store locator where you can find it and this is a big bag it's two pounds um, I believe it cost about $29 but they have smaller packages and I learned about this stuff on um, oh my gosh it's a YouTube channel that I, I love um, and I will link them in the description. It's, I uh, believe it's Living the Natural Life. And um, it's Angel and Billy and their beautiful little da daughter, Eliana. And they talk about all kinds of ways to live naturally. And they're really fun to watch and I enjoy their channel a lot. Um, so that's that guys. These are still cooking, and I think oh, they're starting to feel like pancakes, kind of, a little poofier. Um, I think they're probably ready to go. I'm just going to um, transfer them onto a plate so that I can make some more because as you can see I've got a lot of batter there and so I'm probably going to end up um, wrapping these up and freezing them individually so that I don't eat a lot of them all at once. Um, okay guys thanks so much for watching and um, have a great day. Bye bye. Okay guys, hi, I'm back. I forgot, I should have mentioned a few other things. Okay, I should have told you how this came out and how it tasted. Um, and also a little more information about the Dandy Blend and how it tastes and things like that. So, um, I uh, also I should mention that um, I substituted in the pancake mix, instead of two tablespoons melted butter, I substituted two tablespoons melted um, coconut oil, which is what I use a lot in uh, cooking because it's a good high heat, uh, healthy oil that doesn't break down while cooking, like olive oil does. Um, so these, I didn't taste them with the um, syrup yet, and I am using um, maple syrup. And I'm not going to taste it because I don't want to be chewing on here. But um, I did taste it without the syrup, and it tastes kind of rubbery a little bit. Like the inside wasn't quite, like it's very moist on the inside and still maybe needed more cooking. I'm not sure, or if that's just the consistency. Um, I think it's going to taste okay. It doesn't taste like a regular pancake, but um, it tastes good enough for me as a nice substitute if I'm trying to be wheat free. Um, and here's the Dandy Blend. And you can drink this stuff cold or warm actually. And the um, powder does um, dissolve quickly either in hot, warm, or cold water. And so you can have an iced coffee beverage or a warm coffee beverage or a tea sort of a beverage or an iced tea beverage. So. Um, anyway, it tastes kind of like 
you know those instant coffee, international instant coffees or whatever, um, that you would just mix with the hot water? It kind of tastes similar to that. It's got kind of a sweet undertone, and that's probably from the um, sugar beet that's in here. But um, it's a really nice, I don't have to add any milk or any sugar or anything like that. I used to drink my coffee black, so I'm used to a bitter uh, drink like that. But this one is a lot less bitter, and it just has a nice um, taste. It doesn't, it doesn't have caffeine, but it does give you a little bit of an energy boost from all of the um, herbs and the dandelion root that are in here. So it's nice. It doesn't give you a jittery feeling like coffee does, and um, you know, I I don't I kind of I don't miss the coffee. What I miss about the coffee is when I smell it, um, when someone's making it, and I can smell it in the morning, like at the office and stuff, or if I go into a coffee shop. Um, that's what I miss because I love the smell of coffee probably more than I liked the taste of it. It was just a habit for me, so. Um, giving up coffee and having and finding this stuff was um, very nice because I, I can still have my morning ritual, which is one of the things I really loved about drinking coffee as well, and um, I don't have to miss that. So um, I think that's about it. I am cooking another batch of these, and I still have a little bit more left, and I'll finish that off, and I'll have a little breakfast here, and... Um, I think this was a fun experiment. So I hope I didn't bore you guys with all of this. And if any of you are interested in gluten-free cooking, this was my first, well, maybe my second little jaunt into it. And, um, I'm going to be trying more so that I can maybe get used to it. And if any of you guys do, um, cook gluten-free and you have some tips for me, I would love to hear them. I have a lot to learn. Um... And I'm grateful for any, any tips. So thanks so much, guys, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Okay, one last thing, and I'm sorry. I promise this is going to be the end of this video. Um, I just wanted to mention that I made a mistake on um, Living the Natural Life. That is not the name of the YouTube channel. That is, I think, the name of their website. Um, but the name of their YouTube channel is Natural Lifestyle Show. And if you guys are interested in learning about living the natural life, please check out Angel, Billy, and Ileana on their channel. They are such nice people and so much fun. And um, I've learned so many great things from them. And uh, I recommend. So, um, and also I just wanted to say Leanne from Leanne Live. I hope your son is doing okay. Please keep us posted, and I'm thinking about you guys and praying for you guys. So um, that's it. And so now I can say I hope all of you guys have a great rest of the day, and thanks for joining me, and see you in my next video. Bye, guys.